Oh, where is that pen? Let's see, it's tissue. Oh, has this ever happened to you? Well, if this sounds like something you might go through trying to find something in your purse, all the way at the bottom, you're digging, you're digging, then stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to take care of that problem. And hang around and I've got a freebie for you that will help you get your purse organized even faster. <laughs> Hi there, this is Amy with Love My Schedule and I really do love my schedule. And I'm a homeschool mom with eight kids all the way from 23 years old down to six years old and I've always had so much difficulty trying to get my purse organized and I haven't cleaned my purse in months. So there's absolutely no work to it and it's super easy to maintain. So um, this video is part of a series of weekly planning activities that our family does every Sunday for a couple hours. We just spend a few minutes on each item and it will save you tons of time during the week. So um, I'll have those links down below, so check them out. So also I uh, told you about a freebie that's coming up and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you about it now. Uh, it's a PDF of a, it's a purse organization checklist so that you can use it to get a fully stocked purse without any of the fluff. And the link to this purse organization checklist is down below also. So check that out. So let's get right down to it. So my purse organization always starts with the purse. So see how these edges are nice and straight and they're very boxy. The bottom is nice and flat. I mean, this was like a, I don't know, $25 or $30 purse. Nothing special, but had the features of being able to stand up on its own. That's very key when you're trying to be organized. Um, then nothing kind of flops around. So first we're going to look at the inside. So the inside, as you look down from the top, you can see that everything is standing up. This side you can see everything is standing up. Everything is up on end. Nothing is laying down sideways in the bottom where you can't see it. I have a middle slot there. Okay, so first, something pretty much every purse comes with are some side pockets. My side pockets I use for the things that I get out the most, and those would be things like my pens. I always have a Sharpie and a few ink pens and a notepad. So I just put my little notepad in there with the pens. You never know when you're going to have to write down a phone number or some information. And then I like these little square sanitizers because they slide into the pockets, but they're also kind of spendy, so when that particular one runs out, I'll probably just replace it with a round one. Okay. So, here's my wallet. My wallet has my cards. Uh, it has a spot for... I make copies of my insurance cards because I don't really like to carry them around, so I just make copies, and they're super thin this way, and I just print them out and slide them in the back there. And then we have my social security cards, all of my cards for shopping. Then I made some little labels. These are for returns. So I put receipts in here of the things that I need to return so I can remember, okay, that's where that's at. Um, I have a little business card holder, which to be honest with you, I don't even know where I got this. And I just put my business cards in that so they stay nice and neat and clean. And then I have another little label there for coupons. And so I just slip my coupons in there. Cash. And then my receipts. So when I get a receipt right there on the spot, I decide what I'm going to do with it. If it's a McDonald's drive through for french fries, I'm just going to throw the receipt away because I don't need it. If it's something that I might be able to use for a business expense, or if it's something that I've purchased that I want to hold on to, then I stick it in the back. And I'll tell you what we'll do with those later. And this is such a cute little bag. So I got pretty bags, ones that I really enjoy looking at for this, for my purse. Most instances you would use a plastic clear one like the poly envelopes. And then you can see everything that's in there. But I like pretty too. So this is my little kit for nails. Now inside I also put a few paper clips and some rubber bands. 
you never know. And then I have, um, I have uh, essential oils in a roller. Fold up toothbrush. My perfume. One perfume. Not a bazillion. I have a little eyeglass cleaner with the cloth to clean my glasses. I have chapstick and a uh, cold sore treatment kind of thing for when I get a cold sore. And then the handy dandy little travel brush. You know, you really don't need to brush your hair a lot when you're out. So don't dedicate too much space to a brush in your purse. Now all of these things fit in there. When they fit in there, when I put them in, they're all going to stand up. So if they're laying over, you'll never see them. So everything as it goes in stands up. This is my technology bag. I have earbuds inside of a contact lens case. So it's really sturdy and that's great. I have a charger, phone charger with the wall outlet thing. And I have a power pack in case I run out of power. And then I have my little flash drive that I like to keep in there. And I have this. This is really cool. So I bought, this was like some kind of facial cleaning pads or something like that. And I just took the label off. I made a little label for trash. So see, I have not cleaned my purse out. So I have like candy wrappers and trash and receipts, things like that. So when you come back in the house, you know, check it out, dump it out. And I have a little plastic bag for... I have snack bars in case we get stuck somewhere and we're starving. Uh, my tea bags. I love tea. I have a small pack of tissues. I just use the smallest size possible for my purse because I don't want to dedicate a whole purse to tissues. And then in the middle, I have another clear pouch inside a clear pouch. Because this is our, kind of like an emergency thing. So one of my... Kids needs an EpiPen. And then we have allergy medication tablets, a thermometer, and an inhaler. And then my daughter who loves washi tape so much. This is a certain medication that we use that we thought we'd make the bottle a little cuter. And this is these little twist off. So it's like a little vitamin, a pill stacker. And on top is, whoops. Sorry about that. So the top layer is ibuprofen, then we have aspirin, then we have some cough drops. So that comes in handy. Wow, that's all that's in my purse. Like, not even kidding. Like, I, and I haven't needed anything. I haven't gone after anything. Everything fits neatly back inside. Everything stands up on its end. You should have no problem finding what you need in a purse like this. I mean, you just grab the bag you need and open it. Get what you need. It's as simple as that. All right, so we've got our purse neatly organized and super easy to get at everything, but that is not enough. Once a week, we like to do it on Sundays, you're going to empty your trash, take out your receipts, and refill the tissues or snacks if needed. Um, once you get your purse organized, share a picture down below and show us what you did. Let us know what you put in your checklist that you haven't seen here. And don't forget to share all over the place. The links are at the end of this video and down below if you haven't yet. Then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps. And um, thanks for watching. Hope you're making the most out of every day. See you next time.